YouTube gang. It's good, man. And yeah, we out here. What is good, man? We right back at it. We got those G35 calipers cleaned up. So now it's time to put some work in on the Q50. Ready to hit that switcheroo through the Q50 in the lab. Straight laboratory. Time to upgrade this motherfucker. Hey, if y'all didn't see my last video, make sure you guys go run that one back. All right? And we're gonna put some work in today. But you guys gotta go watch that other one first, bro. All right? I'm talking to you, motherfucker. Better go watch that last video I put up. All right? It's lessons to this shit. We're gonna ingrain in our heads that drillers make killers. All right? Let's get these reps in. Damn, bro. Who you seeing watching that YouTube video in that own YouTube video, dog? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's me. I'm just gonna sit here too and let y'all watch the same shit I'm watching. <laughs> but all right, we got these lug nuts broken off. So now it's time to throw her up. But check this out. I want to show you guys real quick. Since y'all went and watched that last video, y'all heard I was talking about I broke this lug nut. Yeah. What the fuck? That shit is snapped off, bro. Take a look at the the rotors. Them Callies. Hey, right, real quick, all the new viewers too, man. Make sure you guys go hit me up on all these platforms right here. All right. Hey, bro, one more thing too. If y'all ever use one of these floor jacks, bro, you know how much of a pain this shit is, bro. Don't ever get one of these shitty ass jacks. Now you gotta fucking, this shit can come off and shit like that. Nah, bro. Get one of these fucking jacks that you can use this shit right here to lower it, open up the valve and close it. Cause this shit right here, bro, this shit is just bullshit, bro. And if you ever know, or if you ever use one of these, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Hey. So, I'm not gonna tell y'all how you guys should work on your car, but this is what I did. All right, this is what I do every time. So when I get the car up in the air, and you guys are a member too, bro, it's gonna be uncomfortable when you're first starting anything, all right? So don't be afraid to get out there and do what you gotta do. But what I was saying, every time I lift the car up, I'm talking about me, so don't sue me if y'all motherfuckers gonna hurt, all right? I'm not no mechanic up in here. I'm just doing what I gotta do, all right? So put it in the right jacking spot. And then once you get it cleared, to put that jack stand in there, Lower it down, right? And then once you have it lowered down onto that jack, I'll tighten this valve back up, right? So it's not gonna fall if you missed if you missed this shit. And then once you have it on the jack, like I said, tighten the valve up, close it. So this jack stand or this floor jack is also gonna uh, support the car, just extra safety. And then I always tug on these, make sure it's good. Like I said, this is what I do. Okay, you guys just be careful. And when I'm lifting that front end on this side, I like to chalk both wheels. You don't have to, but I always chalk both wheels just for that extra safety. Make sure it's not gonna roll back. All right, two chalks on there. So I'm gonna lower it down. 
and I always like doing the front first because the front when you have that parking brake engaged these tires are still gonna roll so get the front ones up and then follow with the back and for y'all car experts out there I know how to fucking take this shit apart and put it back together head to toe I'm doing this shit for motherfuckers like me that when I first started I didn't know what the hell I was doing okay so you gotta keep that in mind Talking about you boring ass motherfucking man, fuck you. Alright, we're gonna lock, lock this shit down. Oh shit. Don't be scared now. And like I said, I'm gonna hit the other side on the front. Hey, shout out to Khan, man. Thank you for this shit, man. Saving the knees. My shit is always fucked up. And another thing for you rookies out there, when you guys are doing the front, I'm trying to take the wheel off, you have to fucking break the lug nuts off first. Untorque these lug nuts, and then you can lift it up. Because if you lift the car up first, you try to torque that wheel. I've seen videos of dumbass fools doing that shit. Hey, but I'm not going to blame you, bro. I've been there. When the weight of the car is on that tire, you break the lug nuts, and then you lift the car up. Now you could unscrew them with your hand or whatever. You got a drill, you can use a drill. Alright, I'm going to try to show you guys with one hand what I'm talking about. So, I'm lowering this down. I got the jack stand in place. Just be careful when you guys are working on anything. Oh shit. Alright, now the weight is on that floor jack. Or sorry, the jack stand. Right? I'm pulling on it. And it's good. And I always like to look to take a visual look, make sure it's in the right spot, which it is right now. And then I'm tightening up this, this valve again so that that floor jack is also supporting it. Alright? All good. And we got clearance so we can take that wheel off and put it back on. Big time wheelie in on these motherfuckers. Gone. Okay, I got the floor jack on there again. Once it lowered down onto that floor jack, I tighten the valve on the jack. And then we're double checking that that's secure right there. But also visually check first before anything. And it's very important that you guys put the jacks the jack stands in the right place because if you don't put it far enough out you put that shit in the middle it's gonna teeter totter your car bro you don't want that shit just make sure you guys know what you're doing if you guys don't know where the floor jacks go you guys shouldn't be lifting it up in the first place all right last time right i got that microfiber on there so that it doesn't bend the frame of the car up and then since we're doing this last wheel, make sure that this side is chalked. All good. Double check everything. So another reason I hate this jack too, bro. You gotta crank this shit like 30 times before you even touch the car. And another thing too that I like to do is if you're lifting the car up and it doesn't clear yet like say you got another inch or so whatever move the jack the floor jack or sorry the jack stand away from the car because if you're trying to jack it up and it, you got it right there you don't want to risk it falling down on the on the shit and fucking up your car but pick this up lower it down make sure you got clearance on the wheel And then once it's on that floor jack, or sorry, that jack stand, tighten the valve on the floor jack and make sure this is good. All good. You start taking the wheels off. It's coming together, you guys. Dirty calipers. We're going to go in with the 
spray bottle and some microfibers, clean them up. What you guys think of them tire stickers too? Castro on the wheels. Dirty ass caliper. And BC racing coilovers too. Them slotted rotors. Big exhaust on that shit. I'm gonna start it up real quick for y'all. Let's check it out. We're gonna start it with no wheels. How the fuck we gonna drive? Neighbors, uh, that's that art grit smoking out the barrels. Brake pads are out, we're cleaning it off. Same thing over here. Getting that repetition in. I'm gonna clean these off with a bristle brush. I like to use a paintbrush or a bristle brush, get all that dirt and grime off these. Or if you're working on the little metal clips, you can use a wire brush. Or the calipers, you can use a wire brush. And another thing to keep in mind too, just remember that brake line. If you guys are taking the brake pads out, Hit that opposite side of that brake line so you hit that bottom bolt for the front because that line's coming from the top. That way it's not going to cut you off at all. And if you guys spray the calipers, throw something on right here. That way when you open it up it's not going to scratch up your freshly painted uh, calipers. Throw a microfiber or something right there. And if y'all can help me real quick too. The issue I'm having with the G35, this guide pin will come out fine. Right? Both the top and the bottom are lubricated. But the bottom one, for whatever reason, it just have a hard time to take it out. Like something's putting pressure on it or something like that. I don't know. Maybe it's a suspension, but if you guys know... Help a brother out. It's real like sticky. Like if you take it, it'll come out to a certain point and then it'll just start spinning and rotating. You gotta like really push it out. I don't know. Help a brother out. I, uh, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. We 600 strong. Let's keep running this shit up. I'm out. <laughs>